Hi guys, Briggs here with yet another video and today we are going to be talking about choosing a domain name for your blog. That's just basically choosing one name that your blog is going to be known as for the rest of its existence on the internet. So we have to be very careful about this topic. We have to think hard and go slow with this one. It's not no hurry, no rush. So that's what today's topic is going to be about. If you missed our previous videos, we've talked about you know reasons why you should blog and five other reasons why you shouldn't blog. We also talked about niche, choosing the category, choosing a proper topic that you're going to be discussing on your blog. So do check out the description. I'll put links to those two other videos in the description below. So on to today's topic. What is a domain name? Why you should choose a blog name? Basically, you cannot change it once you choose it. So that's why I'm treating this one carefully. First thing you should know is that your domain name might end with a .com, .net, .org, depending on what it's about, whether it's commercial, a network, or a non-profit organization, or .gov, if it's a government establishment. So the most popular ones bloggers go for since they are into commercial things is .com. So that's your name .com or your blog name .com. Something simple, something that people can remember. That's one of the most things to remember when you're choosing a domain name. It must be short. I can't stress this enough. Your domain name must be short. Although all the three letter and four letter domain names are already gone on the internet, you cannot use them. Your name.com is gone. It has been taken by somebody else. You can always you know, think of something. Take your time. Write things down and try to see if they are available to register. Once you get a domain name that you like, I want you to pass it on to friends. Don't just choose one and stick to it. Talk to your friend about it. Write like five domain names you think you want to use for your blog and pass it on to people to choose the right one for you. It shouldn't be long. 13 characters, 15 characters, domain name, who remembers that? You know? So I'll give you ex some examples that are popular, you know, the likes of dig.com, Mashables, even my website, ngbuzz, that's pretty short because I just put Nigeria and Boss together and I came up with an excellent short domain name for myself. Um, although there are some people who've chosen a longer domain name, for example, Don Caprio or um, Gday, Ogbongeblogger.com, that's pretty long and hard to spell if you're not from the Yoruba tribe. So when you are choosing a domain name, make sure it's not something people will misspell, you know. So make it short, easy to spell, and pass it on to friends for them to choose the right one for you. I don't know whichever way, whichever tips I can share with you, but another thing you should know is that your domain name should have something to do with your blog. So if you're going to be talking about sports on your website, that your blog is going to be about sports and fashion, I don't expect you to call your domain name Sassy's Kitchen. That clearly says that domain name is for a food blog or a you know, recipe blog. So your domain name is tied to your niche basically. If you're going to be multi-niched and you talk about everything on your blog, then your domain name can be abstract. It can be about anything. I'll give you an example. If I tell you the domain name loadedvilla.com, what do you think it's about? You know, one moment the guy was talking about technology and stuff, the next moment he's talking about education, strictly education. So choosing a domain name that means nothing, that is abstract, that can mean anything, it's good for you because it can easily switch to different type of topic. But once you choose a domain name that is about a particular niche, technology, fashion, you know, tailoring, dogs, pets you stick to it you can start writing about other things people are not going to accept that so that's what i wanted to share with you guys today so how do you go about the domain name thing how do you start so if you've written everything down and you found a domain name that works the first thing you need to do is head over to one of these domain name registrars yeah they are like a body they register all the domain names in the world so you have to head over to them and pay them a certain fee to register that domain name as yours so I'll give an example of namecheap.com. Once you visit that website, you see a search bar where you can type domain names and see which ones are available and see which ones that have already been taken. So namecheap.com, um, if you're in Nigeria, I will greatly recommend you check out throughdigits.com. Domain names always come with hosting. Ho name, name is just the name of the blog, .com. But where are your files going to stay? Where are you going to start uploading your files? Where are you going to start writing your topics? So that's hosting for you. So there is name and hosting. So if you're paying for domain name, make sure you pay for hosting at once. Unless you're using 
uh, wordpress.com which already hosts your files all you have to do is pick a domain name or you're using the free blogger.com or the paid blogger.com which just allows you also to choose a domain name and they will host your files for you so whichever i prefer for the purpose of this topic that you actually pay for domain name and hosting you can use hostgator if you're international personally i use avix.com i wouldn't recommend that to anybody i'm not sponsored by them or anything so i'm just naming domain name host and hosting providers here that you can take a look at once again i'll call them out namecheap.com hostgator.com um avix.com and if you're in nigeria through digit.com there is also host gator there are lots of them and people have different experiences dealing with them so it's all up to you i didn't recommend anyone i'm just giving out ones that you can try so once you open out any of these websites you'll be able to type a domain name you want and see if it's available or not so Hope I have been able to give you some tips that will help you choose a domain name for yourself. Remember, don't make it too long. Make it easy to spell and let it be really, really short and let it be about the niche you're going to be writing about on your blog. That's it from me today. Hope you stick around for our next video. My name is Soki Briggs and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.